The fifth reason for low thyroid hormone symptoms is the poor binding of T3 to cell receptors inside the nucleus of the cell. Again, vitamin D is essential and vitamin A, both of which are part of the protein complex to which T3 binds to the receptor. Cortisol from the adrenal glands must be adequate because cortisol primes these receptor sites so that T3 will bind. Sixth is the endocrine disrupting chemicals that interfere with the proper uh, thyroid hormone production uh, and also utilization and metabolism of uh, thyroid hormones. And iodine and iodide being very important for the prevention and detoxification of these chemicals. Again, a seventh cause is people that have been diagnosed as being hypothyroid and they are on thyroid medication. And the problem with this is that usually the amount of medication that's given to reduce their symptoms also lowers TSH levels. As T4 increases, TSH will decline. TSH, remember, stimulates these NIS channels that upregulate them. Uh, this is very, very important if your TSH levels are very low. Your um, number of active uh, sodium iodide symport channels will be much less and therefore you will have less iodine and iodide in, your, in these tissues, essential tissues such as breast and thyroid, etc. Let's uh, finish off with a couple of remarks. This is a study from University of Southern California, both at their cancer clinic and also their School of Medicine. <clears throat> Just last year, 2008, they stated in their summary of their, of their research, we believe that the thyroid disease breast cancer relationship provides a unique opportunity to find out the causes of breast cancer. This was as a result of them realizing through their various research that those individuals with high thyroid hormones or high level of iodine levels, high iodine, um, have a lower incidence of, of breast cancer. The World Health Organization estimates that, that the, in the world there are two billion people suffering from iodine deficiency disorders. That's a third of the world population. Even in the United States, uh, this was a research done uh, over a few years period of time, collecting from our population urine samples, which were tested for levels of iodine. They found that using the cutoff value or concentration, I believe it was five micrograms per liter of iodine, below that or, or less than that was considered to be iodine deficient. So if there are approximately 35 million Americans who are suffering from iodine deficiency. Who set this number of five micrograms? I have no idea where that figure came from, uh, but I'm sure that we could double this 35 million to at least 70 or 80 million people um, in total who are both iodine deficient and iodine insufficient. I believe that when you look through the research um, on our website and the book that I've written, that you will find that the uh, levels of iodine that we need to optimize our health and optimize thyroid hormone uh, levels is far, far greater than what our, our minimum daily requirement is presently, which is 150 micrograms. We should be working more in the milligram range, the lower like one, two, three, four milligram range of iodine and, and, and potassium iodide to optimize our health. Another figure from the WHO, 750 million people who don't have any obvious physical signs such as a goiter have undiagnosed hypothyroidism. This is like 20%, 25% of our population. Incredible. So go to our website, advancingthyroidcare.com. There you'll find uh, a couple of chapters from my book which you can download for free. One is a summary of the seven causes, which we briefly covered uh, in this presentation, and also all of the research that I found on the relationship between breast, benign breast disease, breast cancer, and thyroid uh, disease, or low thyroid hormone symptoms. This um, site also has 
uh, the book Low Thyroid Hormone Symptoms, Seven Causes and Seven Solutions, which you can download as an ebook or as a soft cover from Lula Press. Uh, we also offer lab testing. You'll find the uh, essential lab tests that are required to diagnose low thyroid hormone symptoms. You can order those tests through your physician or from our website, and the website gives the, ex the instructions on how we arrange that no matter where you're living in the United States. Also, the supplements that we uh, prescribe, the highest quality supplements, are listed with ingredients. You can try to find those locally if you wish uh, or purchase them off our site. Uh, and also, we have physicians and uh, coaches uh, for life coaches as well as for those with low thyroid hormone symptoms. You can also find another presentation on thyroid hormones and these seven causes and seven solutions. So it's a site that is um, very informative and educational and has a, a lot of value. So um, do us a favor and let's spread the word. It's about time. Uh, I, if you can, I suggest uh, forwarding this um, presentation uh, to friends and family who you believe would uh, receive uh, some beneficial knowledge to improve their health. And I thank you very much. Um, I hope to someday hear from you. Thank you.